Hi, and welcome back to a very, very nervy Finders Beepers History Seekers. There's a helicopter going round at the moment. There's been a man. Listen, listen, wait. I don't know if you can hear that. It's probably not for me, but it's strange. There's been a man walking around the outside of this place over and over again. He seems to have gone now. Me and Bear have been here an hour and a half. We've been in here about an hour and a half. I don't know if you can hear that. But it's like the most peaceful little area. And this helicopter has been right, like going round in circles for the last 15 minutes. I was gonna wait, and, but I've decided I'm just gonna film. The guy's been round the outside, checking all the wind, like rattling all the windows, like pushing it. I've watched him, I sat upstairs and I watched him. And if he, when he comes back, if he comes back, I hope he don't come back, then I'll show you. It's going away now that but it's like literally circling the house now surely they'd send police cars out before a helicopter so that sort of doesn't make sense that's why i'm not too sure it's for me but it just seems very strange right me and bear have been sat in here you know what he's been so good he's not growled or barked or anything he's just sat look look at his face i think he knows i'm worried Maybe he's just half asleep. But look at this place. Now the outside of it is unbelievable. But I can see why people have moved out of it. I thought it were coming back round again then. Look at the wall there. You literally can see daylight coming through it. So this whole side of the building is falling away. And the black mould on there where the water's got in. Now, I feel like I've just gone into panic mode and I'm I'm not really doing a normal kind of video, but I am sort of in panic mode because I feel like I'm going to get caught quite quickly. And I was, like I say, me and Bear have been, I've been sat on that settee for an hour and a half at least, just waiting for the man to go, just being quiet in general. But it is so warm in here. It's like fire, it's 27 degrees outside, my hay fever's gone crazy. And I'm just trying to do this before he comes back. Now, as you can see from the beams and how low the ceilings are and the, the house in general, it's about 500 years old, this place. It is really, really old. I'd say between four and 500 years. Oh, look in here, look at this. Oh, I better get my torch. I've, I've I've just lost it today, altogether. The flow of my video has just gone. Plus, when it's light like this, you don't think you need a torch, but actually you do. Because, look at the difference that's made. Move, Bear. Yeah, look at that. Oh, that's lovely of the Queen, to be fair. I really, really like it. The only problem is, in the day, then now I get too much light, and her face is just, like, blinding white. So... I'm guessing this is the people that lived here. Oh, such a shame. Oh, I love the people here already because they're proper royalists. You know, I love my, a good royalist. Now, looking at a lot of these things in this place, I feel like it's been lived in quite recently, but then you see all the cobwebs and like the amount of dust that's collected. I don't know if they have or not. I'm not sure. I want to I wanna see. I think this is Royal Dalton. Put the dust under there. On oh, no, a Royal Worcester. 2006, 80th birthday. Put it back exactly as it was. Oh, it's good that, I do like that a lot. I'm not so sure about this one. Like, I'm all for a naked woman, but one, her boobs look like cannonballs, and her face looks like, oh my God, what were it called? Did he used to watch Popeye back in the day? Olive, was it called Olive? I know another freaky weirdo called Olive, but this, was it Olive, olive oil? Yeah, with the big 
No, it's not olive oil. It's not olive oil. It's the other thing. The one that wanted to go out We. Oh, maybe it was called olive. I don't... I've got confused now. There was a thing with a big ugly face that sometimes seemed like it was a man and then sometimes it were a woman. And it got big, funny face. Tell me in the comments, because that's going to do my head in. But obviously, if you don't know what I'm talking about, then you're not going to have to tell me. But that face is horrendous. And well, the less said about what's down there, the better. But yeah, I do... I do like the royal stuff. That's a very strange looking thing as well. That's uh, some sort of porcelain butt plug. What else we got? What is that? I know exactly, I'm thinking, is it a whale? What is it? And then I realized it's the foot off that table. <laughs> I don't know why it's in the cupboard. That's quite a strange thing to keep in your cupboard. Like, are you gonna stick it back on? Are you keeping it for, like, prosperity? Is it, is it something that you're going to pass on to your grandkids? Why have you kept that? Why have you not just thrown the table away and got another one? I quite like this. I don't know why, because I think it's very, very modern. But I sort of like it. It's it's made out of pottery. It's a biscuit barrel. Oh! <laughs> Do you want a biscuit? Oh, they actually smell really fresh still as well. I can smell the chocolate on those. Proper digestives. Oh God. I want to seal it back on again. Um, so I, I just had to stop filming it because Andy messaged me uh, with some really good news. I can't tell you what it is, but some really good news. In fact, you probably already know about what it is I'm talking about. But just in case, I'm not going to mention it in this video, but if you, if you know, you know, but it, it seems like good news. So that's good. And no, that doesn't mean he's coming back before anyone goes, Oh my God, does that mean he's coming back? No. <laughs> that sounds really harsh. Brown hair. 2008. That's cool. And then, I don't usually like showing the kids, to be fair, but it's a big picture and they're obviously proud of him. There's not a massive amount of stuff in this room, to be fair. I have a feeling as we get further up the house, we're going to get some more sort of personal things i've only been in this room and the kitchen well i've been up the stairs but i've only been to the window up the stairs so i could see what was going off outside but it's, you know what it's so warm in here i'll try and show you out the window just a minute it's absolutely red hot outside like i say it's 27 degrees i can't really show you i've got to be careful because if he comes around that corner we're screwed and it only takes, oh, it only takes him to clock me through the window and then I am in trouble because getting out of this place will be an absolute nightmare. Like regardless of whether he's here and he knows I'm here, getting in and out of here or getting in here almost killed me. It was horrendously bad. So, so bad. Because I think the way that certain other people, because I know at least one person's been in here, came in, has been boarded up. And the way that I got in, wow, <laughs> I almost broke my back, <laughs> but, but we're in. Now there is a few bits in here, but they're all quite modern stuff. It looks like they've had grandkids round quite a bit, because I have seen bits and bats of toys, so I'm guessing that's them. I'm also very aware that my voice might, because I can hear them, like I can hear them talking across the road. Right, that's upstairs. And then, look at the beams in here. Oh, I've left Bear a drink of water there, if you can hear it as well. It's that little cup thing, it's so good. But it's so warm in here, I needed to. The good thing with it is, you can, when he's finished drinking, if he didn't finish it all, you can put the water back in easy enough. So that means that he can have a drink. And then I can take the bottle with me and use it again. It's so good. Otherwise, I, although I won't be drinking out of it because every, every time I pick it up, it's full of his spit. It's disgusting. But yeah, I don't want anyone to think I'm not looking after him when it's boiling hot. Like, it's, it's only 27, but it's still warm. It's brilliant in here, by the way. Look at it in here. 
Now we do have to be really careful in here. I just feel like I'm shouting and actually I'm almost whispering. But look at this kitchen. I would look at the flags on the floor for a start. Stone flags, the big chunky table and the chunky chairs. One of which I might need the use of in a little bit to get back out of here. But it'd just be brilliant. Now this door, that's I think that's where everybody had gone in. And it looks like it's been freshly, like the, the hammer's there to hammer in that nail. It's been screwed in. I feel like that's only just been done, like very recently. And look, you've got a big massive Belfast sink. It's a good one, that as well. And I love those taps. Now this is something Americans won't get because I know some of some Americans do have, I've got to be careful. Some Americans do have like hot and cold taps, but not many. So they'll be like, why is the two? What is the reason? <laughs> it's so you can, like, you can have a mixer, but sometimes, well, a lot of the time you just get them separate. So you get a boiling hot tap and a freezing cold tap. So you can, it's whether you want to burn it or freeze it off. And also, you call it a faucet. What is that all about? The only time I force it is when I'm... <laughs> Sorry, I, the inner Andy came out in me then. Ugh, I don't want any of Andy coming in me at any point. <laughs> look, look at this. That's good, isn't it? I do like big barometers, but that's quite a good one, that. I don't know. Aneroid barometer. Rises for dry or less wind. Falls for wet. I, you see, I don't, I, I love them and I hate them. I, I think they're brill. But why do you need one? Can you not just look outside? Oh, talking about looking outside. I really hope we get the opportunity to go outside in a bit. Because look out there. There's cars everywhere. And not just in the front of the place. Round in the fields at the back, there's even more. So I'm hoping we get the chance before we get caught. Oh, they, I've not noticed these. They're like, are they called chargers? I'm sure they're called chargers. Oh, keys, 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 key. How many cars did they have? Like a Peugeot, don't know what they are. There's a few more sets there. They could be tractors and stuff, I suppose. They seem to have a lot. Wait, 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 wait. a bang then I think we need to move away from this window a minute there come on let's just get somewhere out of the way I can't be seen here well there is curtains but they'd have to proper peek through them give me a minute it's just gone down there There's a window there. Bear, this way. Bear. Why are you following me? Come on, back in here. Shit. He's up in the bed. He's gone. I wanted to film him. I might be able to film him out of the top window in a minute. But he's gone again. Think. Oh, bloody hell. This is, this is nervy as anything. Because I don't actually think now he knows I'm here. I think he's just like checking. But I've shut the window that I came in. But he, I don't think he'd even look at that window because of where it is. Right. This is like cat and mouse, man. This is, this is crazy. There's a really squeaky floorboard just there. And this house smells weird. There's a funny smell in here. I keep getting like a, almost like a death smell. Like something's dead. I've got to be careful. Because he might be, he might be out here. 
because he's got to walk back across there to get out. Oh, I can't see him. Bear, you know he's there, don't you? You know he's knocking about. Look at him, stood next to the door. He knows. You've been a good boy, though. Anyway, right, what to look at next? I'd, I've lost my track altogether. It's proper put me about. And it's it's nervous, it's like proper. You probably can't, eat, well, if you don't come on one of these and you don't, you've never been in this position, it's hard to understand what it feels like because you know you're somewhere you're not supposed to be. It's not like just somebody coming and trying to find you like in a park or whatever. You are trapped in a house. There's nobody else about. Nobody know. technically this time, nobody does know where I am. No clue at all. And if he's got dodgy things on his mind, he probably hasn't. He's just a somebody checking out that nobody's coming in here. But he, say if he did, he could never hear from me again. Maybe that's what the dodgy smell is. <laughs> Right, we've got quite a big, what looks like junk room in here. I know what's in here. Shut in that door. Oh my God, the smell. <clears throat> oh my Lord. This is why I don't open fridges. It's very rare that I open a fridge ever. Look at that big pot. That is a big ass metal pot. It's huge. What would you use that for? Just, I suppose, hang it. It looks like you hang it over a fire. Oh, I suppose if you've got like a, a range or something, because he's got one there and one in the kitchen as well, which is a bit strange. But I don't know what he would have used this for, just dumping stuff. But, because why would you have a cooker there and a, is that a steamer? in here with all this junk. It does sort of don't make sense. Those drawers are massive. Really, really good. Right. I'm just gonna have a bit of a look through some of this stuff because I can't move at the moment. Right, thing is, every room I go in, there's windows on this floor and if he walks round, he'll see me. But there's, there's nothing really in it. I'm quite shocked. Because it's a really old building, like I said. Minimum, minimum 400 years old. Like, if I try and show you through this window another bit of the building for now. Because I want to be able to show you outside properly in a minute. But at the moment, I'm in not, no position to. Now, if you can sort of see, see what sort of building it is. It's like an old Tudor effect building. But I don't think it's mock Tudor. I think it's actual Tudor. Just looking at the, like I say, handcrafted beams. You can see like the stone, the some of the bricks in this place, like they look like more modern bricks, but the Tudor bricks are a bit smaller. And I've seen some around the other side that look like that. So I'm quite shocked. I've not seen anything really even Victorian, let alone something older than that. Like, can just look how low they are. Some of them are like, why did they make them so low? People must have had to walk round, like crouching down. No, the people were just a lot smaller back then. A lot, lot smaller. You've also got to remember like, back in the day before the Vikings came, we were even smaller than that. The, um, the Celts were quite slight, quite small people. And then add into the mix, the uh, the Vikings and Bush, we've got wide shoulders and things like that. And the French and the Germanic, they were quite big as well. So there's lots of influence. Like it does my head in today when people are like, oh, all these foreigners coming into our country taking, we're all bloody foreigners. Like literally, if you look at the makeup of the UK, every single last person came over at some point like it, over years we've got so like so much french influence so many much german obviously the romans came over you've got the vikings you've got celts you've got picts you've got what else there's just bloody loads 
and people just moan about other cultures and other things coming into our country and it just winds me up because I think bloody hell like Britain is about embracing people from different places it always has been and it always will be anyway that's my little political <laughs> rant I don't know where that came from yeah look there's another one here this one looks quite a lot older as well I've, I've gone all excited now and started almost shouting these are a little bit older they they could be Victorian the little pots on top of there so there is some stuff I can see that somebody has tried to seal this up totally look because there's a little hidden door there through I've not even noticed that <gasps> oh my lord look the electrics on now me and Bear are absolutely parched. I've brought him some water, but I've run out of mine. So I was hoping that the water was turned on. So I've just tried it and it's not. But Bear's got some water. I'm, like I said, I'm, not, I'm not lowering myself to drinking that. I can't do it. But my lips are like bloody so dry. I, I was looking at these things when, I, when he came. Yeah, they're quite good, those. They're really... What is he doing? What are you doing? What you got? Bear, what's that? What you found? Is it a ball? Bring me a ball then. Get your ball. <laughs> Good that he can get his mouth around it. I don't know where he's just pulled that from. I could hear him making noises. <laughs> oh, you found a ball. What a good boy. Yeah, like, I don't understand. I, I couldn't live like this. I, I I make a mess in my house, but then I generally clean it up after a day or two because I've got nobody else to, like, be annoyed at me. But I like to have it tidy as well. But I couldn't live, like, clearly. I, I'm guessing it's because they've got no drawer space. There's just stuff in boxes and stuff just dumped on this shelf. Oh, look, Yorkshire. Oh, that's a couple of places recently I've been into round here that have got Yorkshire stuff. Um, but obviously, a bit of a farmer. And they've got poppies as well. One yesterday had poppies. Right, let's head up. Oh, I like this little bit of furniture. That's quite nice, you know. With the... I saw a shadow go across behind on this wall. I thought they were back. Um... I'm re I don't think you understand how on edge I am. Oh, look in here. What have we got in here? Some tapes. Horses in art greeting cards. So just deal your normal stuff. This is what I'm saying. I'm quite shocked that there's no ancient stuff in here. I don't want to go through all their personal stuff because that's what people usually do. Like, I don't mind looking briefly. But I don't want to rag it all out like everybody else does. What have we got on this one? Looks like some driving gloves and a few bits. But yeah, I just love this floor. I keep looking at the floor and thinking, I wish I lived in a house with a floor like that. And I don't think, because a lot of the time, they'll... Oh, God, it's him. They'll have... They'll reflag floors to make it look old, but I, I genuinely think this is a really old flagged floor because they're all different sizes and stuff as well. Like the ones near the fireplace are bigger then you've got smaller ones going out the door and it drops away where the door is as well. Look at the age of that door for a start. It's like falling to pieces, it's that old. Why not look round here? Oh, it's a plane, I think. Why is that beam like that? Oh, hang on, there's a door there, behind this. I wonder if that, is that a cannonball? Wait a minute. Oh, no, it's a dog ball. <laughs> Look like a dog with a cannonball, because of the colour of it. No, it's just a dirty dog ball. Um, yeah, there's a riding hat there. Yeah, I reckon they've piled all this stuff. I'm not going to move it. But they've piled all this stuff here so you can't come through the um, the garage or whatever. It's not a garage. It's like a, an outdoor storage room. Yeah, I reckon that's the way people have got in as well. What have we got in here? 
Oh, bank statements, electric mortgage, nothing exciting. Right, let's, uh, let's close that back up again. Right, I think we should look at that. Like, get rid of the clutter in your head. Just a minute. Imagine that being your kitchen. Like, I'd get rid of the 1990s cabinets over the other side. But just imagine on a summer's day, or even the winter, looking outside and looking across the snow and stuff. Oh, it'd be beautiful. I would love to live here. And it's in England, it's not in Wales, <laughs> which makes it even better. But yeah, it's, uh... oh God, <laughs> at least he's happy, I suppose. But the thing is, if someone comes and he's playing with art, they'll hear him. Oh, you're running around with it now. Right, let's go upstairs. Right, I love how everything, I, like, I call these higgledy piggledy houses because nothing's straight, nothing quite matches up. Now look at that. If you do the, if I sort of square that off there with the ceiling, like for a start, the ceiling's not square. Then that hooks off at that angle. That goes at that angle. Everything's just all over the place. Just checking again out of this window. See, they've come, he's come from over there, I think. Look at the state of it, it's all falling down, this place. What a shame. Why do these places not get looked after? Like this place, I reckon, with the age of it and where it is, it'd be over a million pounds. Over a million pounds. But now the state is in, it cost that to fix it. So, look at this. As I walked past this earlier on, I noticed all the alcohol in there. But that is massive and copper. It's huge. I bet that's some money's worth of copper in itself, you know, that. I bet it's really heavy. I don't know what's in there. Might have to drag that out before I go. But my back's hurting at the moment from getting in here. So I'll maybe do that in a minute. Right. Back through the living room. Hopefully we won't get seen now because we're going upstairs. Now, if you thought it was higgledy-piggledy downstairs with the wood and the beams and everything. It certainly is up here. Like, look at the beams, look at the size of them. Look at the workmanship as well. That almost looks like writing, but I think it's woodworm. It looks like someone's written on it. Look at the banisters even. Absolutely full of woodworm. No wonder this place is falling down. What are you, Lord of the Manor? What do you think you're doing? Just lording it up, sitting there. What's with the little side eye, mate? Who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? <laughs> you're not in trouble. Come on then, let's look round. Oh my Lord. We need to be careful on these floors, babe, because that, it's probably just the house, but that floor is like, the, it's like that. And it comes uphill to probably a point here and then goes this way. Oh, is that an attic? We need to go in there in a minute as well. Right, before we go any further, this is where I came to, to look out the window. So it's over there, this is like a stables over there. And this is where he's come from. And he made his way, I sat here, well, I stood here facing this way and watched him walk past and go around there. Because if I'd stood here, he would have seen me. <laughs> Probably not a good idea. But I'm hoping, because of what time it is, I think it's about seven o'clock now. I'm hoping he's gone in for some tea. Gone, uh... Right, also, I've had a couple of questions about this. I've had a, a few Americans asking, and even so people from the south of England don't get it. So breakfast, is what you eat in the morning. Dinner is what you have. Oh, I thought he was barking then. Uh, dinner is your midday snack. So like sandwiches or whatever. And then tea is what you have at the end of the day. So like your Yorkshire puddings and chicken and things like that. It could be anything, but it's breakfast, dinner and tea. And then maybe supper. You could have supper afterwards as well if you're really hungry. 
And you could have elevenses between breakfast and dinner, but it's breakfast, dinner and tea. And I don't care what any of you say, comment down in the comments what you think it is, but you're wrong. It is not lunch. It's not lunch at all. Lunch, ladies. No, no. Dinner, ladies. You get dinner, ladies, who come and put a big pile of slop on your plate. Oh, fucking hell, my stomach turned then because I thought he was stood in front of me. It was my um, my light reflecting in the window. <laughs> See the look in my eye then. Yeah, lunch ladies bring slop. When you're at school, they, I've just called them lunch ladies. Dinner ladies, dinner ladies. That's why they called the series on TV dinner ladies, not lunch ladies. Anyway, argument over. I'm right. Right. We're heading through this way. I am still very nervous. Look at the floor. Look at the size of those. They're... Uh, quite old though as you can see they're almost rounded you can't really see it properly on camera but they're right they're not flat like a lot of um new floorboards would be they're, they're slightly round oh my what the fucking hell is that right i was going to show you in a minute that's that's freaky that is, that is freaky. Oh, look at that door. That's like an ancient door. That is ridiculously old. I'm going to show you now. Right, so there's the toys. And then there's a meat cleaver. Just sort of smashed into it. What the hell is that all about? Why is that in a... What are you doing? Why is that in a bedroom with kids' toys? Just a random meat cleaver. Oh, cat, Rosie. I wonder if the bear, stay away from that. That just makes you look like a murderer. Murderer, aren't you? You're a murderer. I'm guessing it's an urban explorer or something that's come and done that. Because surely that's not been left up here by anyone else. And these cupboards. Yeah, everything. Oh, no. Oh, I'm guessing that couldn't get back out the window. It's found its way in and then couldn't get back out. Yeah, these are weird. Because they're sort of blocked up. I can't actually even open that. What about this one? Oh, there's just the, the beds in front of it. So how are you supposed to get in those cupboards? That's stupid. Look at the 1960s, 70s wallpaper as well. That is insane, man. That's it, you just make yourself comfy. You're all right down there, yeah? You're all good. Once again, though, I'm looking round. I'm seeing 70s, I'm seeing 2000s, I'm seeing 80s. I'm not seeing anything old, anything at all. Which is shocking me, to be fair. That's probably the oldest thing I've seen and it's probably reproduction anyway. Now, I've had a few people tell me off recently. It's always the same, and I always ignore them. I do what I, exactly what I want, so there's no point telling me to do something, because if you're being a dick about it, or not. If it's a good idea, and you're trying to help, then fair enough. But some people are just arses. Like, someone like, I had to stop watching, because you weren't showing the building, you were only showing what was inside. Now, this is the place that had about three, it was an hour and 40 minute long video with three billion things to look at in it. And they wondered why I didn't look at the walls because there was so much good stuff in there. Like I've got to try and show you the stuff that's in there. Otherwise you'd get a 10 hour video. And I know people would be happy with that, but I ain't flipping editing and uploading a 10 hour video. It's not happening. I'm also not staying in these places for 10 hours. I'm sweating and my shoulders are in as it is, and I've only been in here two. <laughs> Definitely think it's my time of the month for something, because I am moaning a lot today. <laughs> I'm in a really good mood, though. I'm just, I think I've just been put on edge because of him. Look, that's their house over there. There's a mini. But look at the cars down here and the stables. There's more up there as well. But he's been coming in at that gate just over there. So I have a horrible feeling if I walk up and through here, I'm going to get caught. So, because I came in a different, I came a totally different way. So, what you found in here, Bear? I can hear you banging about. 
I'm hoping there's going to be some older stuff in here. <gasps> Another dead bird there. It's just, what are you? What are you found, bear? What are you doing? Why are you squeezing your head through there when you could just walk round it? Are you? Are you for real, mate? What is wrong with you? Have you ever seen? <laughs> Literally could have walked round it. Literally the easiest thing to do in the world. But no, he squeezes his fat ass in it. I suppose he's a bit like me, to be fair. Right, oh, look at them. You can really see, oh my Lord. That's that ancient door I was talking about. But look at the wood and how it goes round it. You can see the original sort of structure of the building what it was like before. I don't know whether that was original though now because I feel like that beam would have gone across. Although the fixing for it's there, so maybe it didn't. But that's like something out of a Hobbit house or something. That's bizarre. What an amazing building this is. Right, it seems to have gone very quiet over there. There's two cars there now. I don't know if that second one was already there or not, but I couldn't see it, but now I can. Now you've got all the, I don't know what the buildings are behind, but I know there's a stables up there somewhere, which is right at the back, I think. Um, and there's a, an arena, a riding arena through at the other side as well. So I'm not too sure. I'm guessing they're either eating or they're doing something with their horses because I ain't seen him up here for a bit. So hopefully we're good. Right. Let's have a look round in here. They definitely must have had the grandkids or the kids over at some point because there seems to be a lot of baby stuff. And looking at the photographs, it was an older couple, so I'm reckoning grandkids. Um, look at that bit of furniture, though. Oh, Lord, what was that? Oh, I thought it were a piece of stone or something. It made me jump. Yeah, look at that. That's an, <laughs> that's an awful piece of furniture. But actually, that sort of thing, people buy them so much like when i used to buy and sell stuff people love them and they clean them up like clean them right up and then uh, take all the bits of material off and redo them up reupholster them and they go for loads oh it's me everybody says i look like him i don't see it myself he's got gray hair that's about as far as we go but yeah I'm going to have a look and see if there's anything in this. And I know you'll be saying this week, oh, why are you not going through stuff? Because I am. I am looking at stuff. But there's nothing worth showing you at the moment. Like, no, old, really old stuff. Like, there's some 1980s bits and bobs in here. Look. A Royal Baby album. Um, uh, I'm guessing that's our future king. Could be Harry, I suppose. Um, but most of the stuff... Like, for example, this, well, 2013, not really got any age to it. Right, Bear's found the dead bird and he's not quite sure what, what's happening with it. He's just staring at it and he has been for the last five minutes. I don't really, I think he's been possessed by the dead dead bird. Look at him. It's just, it's just not moving. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> he's just shitting himself, he's scared. Bear, don't eat. Don't eat the dead bird. Bear, no. Oi, move. Bear, leave the dead bird alone. Oh, there's all maggots come out of it. Leave it alone. No wagging your tail. Just shift with your cobwebs on your head. Leave it alone. Right, I spent ages neatly piling it up to find out that it's full of magazines and and blankets. Which is, and he's still stood in that same position, still looking at it, working out what to do. <laughs> um, excuse me, bear. It's dead. Leave it alone. I don't know if you can hear that, but a vehicle's just pulled up outside. You hear it? Sounds quite big, like a tractor, like a farmer. I'm just going to sit here two minutes. It seems to have gone. I've noticed, I'll show you as well, this, this place is 
not got long left. Also, look at this I've just found. So I came to look at this frame. I just dropped what I want to show you. It's a mirror, and actually the frame I really like. But then I found this, like hidden underneath. And let me just read it to you. It's really sad. I've never been so tired before, or in such disarray. My body like, a, is, like is ca carved, is what? My body like something in shell. My mind has blown away. What's left to face the world at large seems very small and grey. Is that not one of the saddest poems you've ever heard? Basically saying he's wasting away and can't take on the world anymore. It's a bit horrid. It's like eyes to my left in that top left corner. Two little bright eyes looking at me. <sighs> right, this is what I was going to show you. Look at the state of that. They've sort of tried to fix it, I think. Because it will have been, air will have been coming through. So it's stop a breeze, but they've not really done a very good job. Like these places need proper work on them. They cost thousands. Like I said, because most of them are listed buildings. They have to look after them. But if you look, it's all the way up there. And this whole bit of wall is sticking away from the rest of the wall. Look at it up there. I'm also very aware this floor, even though the floorboards are really thick, it drops away to that corner. And the bit we're stood on moves when you're on it, which is not good. Right, I'm just gonna check on them again. Nobody about. I think we're all right for now. Right, let's head out of this room. Have we been in here? No, I don't think we have, have we? I've got to be, so oh no, we have. We have just been in here. It's where uh, the big door is and the view. I thought you were stuck in there then, Bear. Right, let's head up to the other end. This just looks freaky, this whole corridor looks freaky. And like I said, with the floor dropping away like it does, it just makes it feel freaky. All right, let's quickly pop in the bathroom. I don't think there's very much to see in the bathroom, but it is a bathroom. Oh, wait. God, I've got to be careful. The whole wall. I just, I don't know how to light you up. Yeah, it's just your boiler. Like, it's space for the boiler. But even that's higgledy piggledy and not straight. The walls, there's holes in the walls. The brickwork's coming, look, if I move that torch, look at the light coming through from outside there and there. I swear to God, this place is a is a massive death trap. I'm sort of feeling like I want to get out of here soon. But I, I know there's got to be something old in here. There's got to be. It can't just be modern stuff. There's no way. Maybe the attic is where it holds all its secrets. I'm hoping it does. I'm really hoping it does. But we've got one more bedroom to go in yet. It's mad. I really wish you could see how much the floor drops. It's mad. But look at those. Look at the size of those. I've got... I'm a size 11 trainer. And look at the size of those floorboards. Very, very dated. I've got a golly up there. Now this bed's made up like someone's about to sleep in it, to be fair. But once again, there's not loads of stuff in here. And it's very, very dated stuff. Not not really old, but not new either. Oh, it smells funny in here as well. This whole house upstairs smells weird. Downstairs, they've got a weird smell. Look. Look, look, look. Time's still on that clock. I feel like someone's going to walk in here in a minute. It's just very odd. I really don't like it. There's nothing in this room. We're going to have to go up to the attic. I just hope he doesn't turn up while we're up there because that is the place I do not want to get caught. Right. Still being careful past these windows. Let's get in here. Oh no. 
Right, give me a second. Right, it's took some effort, but I've done it. Oh my lord. Look at the cup. No one's been up here for a while by the looks of things. There's just dirt and cobwebs everywhere. Look at it. Baird, I think you should stay there, Bear. Stay there. Be a good boy for me. Oh, we're going to get all the old stuff up here. Oh, I really hope so. Right, let's have a look. Shh. I think there's someone talking outside then. Oh, look at it up here. Bear, I think you should stay there, mate. I think you should stay there. Sit down and stay there for me, okay? Yeah, look at it up here. Wow. Oh, there is a few bits I can see already. I don't know if that's a photo albums down there. Good boy, good boy, sit down. All right, let's go and have a look up here then. Oh, look. Oh, this floor is shaky, man. It is dodgy. Oh, look at that. Under that cover there. Right, give me a minute. Yeah, look. You've got a wee wee bottle and a, a bedpan there. Oh, it's just covered in dust. And the thing is, I've just realised I've got my non-exploring trainers on, which is just not good. But it is what it is. Right, I'm heading straight for that picture because I can see a hidden picture there. Or a half hidden picture. I'll tell you something though. It is ridiculously hot up here. Like fire. It's so warm. I'm sweating so much. But I'm hoping it's going to be worth it. Oh, it's like a present waiting to be unwrapped. I'm excited. It's big. Oh, look. I wonder how long it is since he's seen the light of day. Tash and his wonky head. He's got a very wonky head. Oh, are these them as well? There's more things wrapped up over here. Give me a second because it's I don't want to oh god, just holes in the roof and everything. I don't want to uh, destroy stuff. I want to try and be careful because I feel like I just I was a bit rough with that. I knew it, I knew there'd be something in this place. I knew it, and I'm telling you now, other explorers have just not looked. They've not spent the time to come out of their way to look. There's things in here that look brilliant. I'm not quite sure what that, that's a church somewhere. Right, but it's the one behind, look at this. Let me just get it out properly because all you can see is the torch. Just give me a second and put it over here. I'm gonna put all these back away when I'm done. But for now, I'm just gonna move them because I'm scared of going through the floor there. Look at this. I wonder what year that is. I wonder which one is a family member. I'd love to know who it is. Like what platoon or whatever they call it. I don't think it's platoon, is it? But I'd love to know. God, it's killing me bending down in here. And I am so hot. So, so hot. Right, next. Right, looking at a couple of these bigger ones. The paintings. I don't want to, I'd say if it's a photo, I'll get it out, but I don't want to just mess everything up by ragging it all out. So I'll have a look and do my best to find the best stuff. I'm leaving that in there for now. Right, I decided to get this one out because I thought it was quite interesting. Cranmer at the Traitor's Gate from the painting by Frederick Goodall, RA. I don't know, who, I've heard of Cranmer, I think, but look at the, what they're wearing. Is that not um, the time of, oh, what's he called? Not the king, he's not a king. Yeah, is it not from like Oliver Cromwell? Is it not their helmets that look like that? And if that, if he's a traitor, that means he must have been a royalist. I don't, I don't know. That's a guess. That's a total guess. Please tell me who Cranmer was and why he was a traitor, because I would love to know. Right, we've just almost had another France incident. 
I stepped, I was putting the pictures over there so they keep them safe. I stepped on a bit and I felt like I was going to go. I just, I've got to be so careful. There's a couple of beams I know I can stand on. The rest, I just can't trust. I feel like I'm going to go through the floor and I don't want that, especially not here with that bloke. There's one more picture at the back of there. I'm on this board here and I'm on a big beam there, but if I push down on that beam, the beams over here make a noise, which worries me a lot, a lot, a lot. Uh, like I said, I've kept things relatively in safe places, out of the way. Like there's some new, newish pictures here that I haven't touched at all because there's no point. But also they're in a bit of an unsafe place. So when I pack all this up back up again, I'll put everything safe up against that wall. Right, this was the final one. It's it's healing coos, but it wasn't really the pictures I wanted to show you. I'm so scared. That bit's just cracked under me as well. It's the frame. I love that frame. Like a double picture frame, but the detailing around the outside's lovely. I like the frame on that as well. I think they're really good. Right, I'm gonna look up at the other end of here and in some of this stuff, and then I'm gonna put everything back away. Right, to start with, I've had a look in there. It's just files and stuff. I don't know what this thing is. I feel like, oh God, I'm balancing. My legs are shaking. Because of what happened a minute ago. I don't know if that's a musical instrument, you know. I'm going to have to try and have a look. It's a funny shaped box if it's not. Right, it's another car stopped outside with the engine running. I don't know where Bear is because he's disappeared from the bottom of the stairs. Bear? Bear? Yeah, he's gone. But look, I had a feeling there was a musical instrument in there. Hiding away. I've always wondered like how hard it is to play things like violins. Well, that's something for the violin. I don't want to get it out because everything's so dirty. I need to secure this back up again when I've done. I can't get that in. But yeah, look at the horse hair. There's loads of horse hair in there to string it, which makes me think it must be quite old. Although there is like a rubber bit on it there. Or plastic bit on it so maybe it's not unless you add that on a later date but the wood itself looks really old really old which makes me think it is i don't know i have no idea anyway i just need to show you my face and my arms i've literally i don't know if you can really see it to be fair beads of sweat running down my face and my arm oh, my arms i don't know why it is with what is with my arms when I sweat, I'll try and show you. Yeah, you go. can't even see it on there. Can you see it on here? Yeah, look how wet my arm is. Absolutely soaked through. It's because it's so hot up here. It's like fire, all the heat from the house is up here. Right, I'll go back through and shut everything up and put everything away as I come back through. I'm just trying to get everything done as quick as I can. This floor at least seems a bit sounder, safer. Oh, Lord. Right, you've got walking. I sort of kind of like this. The walking sticks where I'm a bit of a collector of places, me. That's why I've got the, the flags on the back of my leg. So I think that's why I like this. That you can, not that I can get it to focus. Yeah, you've got Western Supermare. Just let me sort my camera out. Right, you're going to have to wait. Bears at the bottom of the stairs, I heard him come in, but I've just heard talking again. Oh, there's some other big covered up things there. I've got to be careful up this end of the building, because this is the dodgy falling down end. And I don't know whether I trust what even walking in here, but I need to have a look. Oh God, that's a massive wasp's nest. I've told Bear to stay down there and he's come up. Naughty dog. Yeah, this is the side of the house that is literally going to fall off. I, I don't. I don't even go near the window. These floor, Look at the floorboards when I stand on them. They're moving. Yeah, that's a massive wasp's nest there. <laughs> oh my God. Get me out of this bit. Get me out of this bit. Wait, up. Oh, there's pictures here as well. There, get out of here. Go downstairs like I've told you. Be good. 
Go downstairs. There's like no chance I'm up here now. Like I said, this is what happens when you actually look. Look at this. It's one of those sort of coloured in ones as well. Oh, they're cool, aren't they? Look at his hair slapped over that. I would say that's maybe early 1900s me, rather than 1800s. Looking at his, I don't know. I'm not sure, to be fair. I don't know. There's another one. Once again, I'm going to unwrap it off camera. Right, everything's so dusty. This one is of some sort of carving. Look at the state of him. Get down. I'm gonna to have to go and sort him out. I'll put these away in a minute. Right, I had to go and check that he'd gone. I thought, oh yeah, at least he's gone downstairs. He's an idiot. What are you doing there hiding from me? Do you think I'm not gonna find you? Right, be good and stay there. Don't be jumping off. Yeah, anyway, these are all the places he's been. I'm on edge now because there's somebody outside. He's been stupid. I can't get to this to focus anyway. I don't know why. Um, so, I'm going to look at these pictures and then I think we need to get out of here. I'm dying. I'm, I'm dying of heat, man. Yeah, the things that I thought were photo albums down there aren't. I've shut a look. That just almost fell on me from the ceiling. They, it's just... Like proper uber dangerous in here. So I want to spend too much time in here now. I need to get out of here. Right. I knew it'd be fruitful up here. I just knew it. Look at her. Look at her. Look at her little bonnet. And her little glasses. The little glasses like I was trying on the other week. And then a jewellery that looks like it's made out of um, Whitby Jet. Or something like that. Whitby Jet was massively in fashion back in the Victorian era. Obviously from Yorkshire, uh, but it's a, a very black stone and Victoria loved it. And as a result, it was like one of the most sold stones in the UK for years and years and years. So yeah, Whitby Jet. Right, a couple of them were just empty frames, but then there was this old lady. Oh, she looks so sad. I don't know, I don't think that's the same. Is it the same woman? I'm not sure. If it is, she's lost her eyebrows at some point. But she's got a little bonnet on. It looks old, that. That looks really old, like one of the earliest photos. Look at the frame it's in as well. Right, there's one more to get out. And then I've got to wrap all this lot up before, we even, <laughs> before I even go anywhere. Right, the final one was definitely my favourite. Is he still stuck behind me? Yeah, he's there. Look at him, so naughty. Yeah, the final one's my favorite by far. It's just like proper back to a different era. Like there's no boys this age would wear what he's wearing now. <laughs> Look at this guy, a little comb over, but then his little bow on his jacket, his shorts, his socks pulled up with his boots. It's all uh, like, look, that's been made to look like it's bamboo or something with the flowers behind and it's all been sort of like extra painted over the top or drawn over the top but look at him like looks into your soul with those ears but yeah that's brilliant that's so good not used to seeing them this big like usually you get like postcard size ones and the occasional one on the wall that's massive like the first one we saw but there's a lot here that are big big ones anyway I'm going to wrap all these up and then we'll head downstairs. Right, heading out of here. Bear's already gone down. But even the things on here are quite new stuff. I can't believe we found all that there. Right, I'm telling you now, no other explorer that's been here, I'm pretty sure, have been either up there because it was like stiff locked. They couldn't get up it. It was like jammed. I had to really put some effort in to get it open. So I don't think they've even been up there, but if they have, nobody's seen that stuff up there because nobody uses their eyes. People just go up and go, oh, this is creepy, and then just leave it. Like, if there's a shape of something that looks like a painting, surely it's a painting and you just need to lock with your eyes. But anyway, 
I've now got a job of getting out of here. So if the guy comes, I will show you. If he doesn't, I'll see you outside. Right, I'm out. I've come round the back of the house. I can show you the back of the house. Um, I've just come from over there. And I thought he was going to come back, so I had to get up here really quickly. But I just took a really cool photo of Bear as well. Right, let's uh, head round the front and be careful about it. Look at this as well. Look at the supports. Now, if I get caught now, I don't really care. Right, the guy that's been walking round is over there. You can't see him yet, just a minute. That's the one that's been stalking me. That's been running around the house looking for me. I don't know, why would he come round here if he didn't know I was here? But I just want to show you this side of the building. Yeah, look at how it's deteriorating. When I said to you a minute ago, where the floorboards were all funny and I said, oh, I don't want to be in this bit. That's the top bit there. This room here is the one where it got holes all over. Um, there's bars on a lot of these windows as well, which is weird. But if we come down here, I've got to be careful. This is the front room I was sat in when he was walking round. But look at the big metal pole stopping the bricks falling out of the wall. It's, it's horrendous. The windows are falling out. It's, it's terrible. Now I've got to get round this corner quite quick. I can see him shirtless for some reason to be fair it's a boiling day he's probably washing himself down with a hose pipe because i, I want to be myself but i have to run around this corner hoping he doesn't see me he appears to be looking the other way right that bush was in our way so we're all right now we're down to where the cars are and he shouldn't be able to see me when I'm up here unless he comes. For a big lad, I'm quite good at getting away from people. Although, I don't know how he's not heard my voice because I've heard them talking constantly. Now, well, this is the shed bit where that door that I said to you was blocked up at the other side with a big piece of wood on it. I knew there was no way through anyway because I'd already checked it all out. You know me, I check every single entrance and someone, I, this is this is the funny bit, somebody has tried to get in through this window. They've taken the whole window frame out of the window to try and get in here. But you can't get, you literally can walk straight in here. Honestly, the stupidness of, of people trying to get in places. If you can't get in anyway, don't go. But don't take out a whole window to try and do it, especially if it's into a shed, you fool. Oh, I am so scared of him just popping up. I'm not bothered about being caught, I just don't want to be. But these are the, the stables. I think they're pretty cool little stables as well, because the house is right here. So your horses would be literally right in front of your house. That looks like a... Um, what do you call it? Old Land Rover bonnet or something, that. But yeah. There's all sorts in there. I don't know what that winding wheel thing is over there. I'm not going in because it's just absolutely crammed with stuff. But cool. I like anything to do with horses anyway. You know I do. Um, but it's it's cute. Look at this place, though. It's just mad. It's totally mad. What a waste of a building. And these, I'm not an MG fan, I'm not a hairdresser, but that just looks so cool with all the wildflowers. I don't think there's much point looking in any of these. Oh, may as well. I suppose we're only here once, aren't we? I always say this to myself. You just don't know what's going to be in them. And not a great deal, to be fair. Oh, there's some old pieces of cars or something up there. Look at the back. Um, those. I don't know what sort of car it would be, but it looks like a bit of car to me. You know me and cars, I have got no clue. This is when we need Magic Andy with his magic car knowledge. Well, mine's magically disappeared. 
Right, I'm not going to look in those two, but there's one, two here. That's the house from this side, look. Look at that big chimney. It's massive. Um, but yeah, they would have been someone's pride and joy one day. Not anymore. And then you've got another one here. Uh, oh, there's one over there as well. Now I've got to sneak past this gate without being seen. I think I should be all right, you know because there's some more around the back. Yeah, there's the other one. I know people like to check the number plates, but there you go. Right, quickly go past around the back. I don't think that's, a, I don't think that is an MG, is it? It looks like a, an old Citroen or something to me, that, but I know nothing. Literally could be a Ferrari for all I know. I have no clue. Right, there's nothing in this big barn that's worth... Oh, there is a car at the back. I don't think it's anything worth looking at, though. Similar to these look, like quite new, newish cars. What's that, a 2010 Corsa? I don't know what that one is in the back, but it's not very old. See, I'd rather look at the mangle. <laughs> the big old metal mangle outside. Now, the other cars are over the back of there. And I've now realised there's absolutely no way of getting to them. It's so overgrown. But they're just more of what we've already seen anyway. Some more MGs. So I think that's about it. What I will say is, if you are an explorer, you go around these places. There's somebody up there. You go around these sorts of places. Look properly. Go and try and find stuff. Don't just expect it to jump out in front of you and go, Oh, I'm here. Look for it properly. If you are somebody that enjoys this sort of thing and you do it, one, weigh things up first and make sure that you're careful. But two, do it properly and do a good job because I'm telling you now, you will enjoy it so much more. That place on the outside is fantastic. On the inside, up until I went up to that attic, was a bit of a letdown, I'm not going to lie. But that attic made it... <coughs> God, that attic made it worth so, so much to get in. Like... I would have gone in something 10 times harder, and it were hard, to see what I saw. So, definitely work hard. Anyway, love you all. I'll see you soon.